Hi everybody, here's a quick video on how to take out the drive on a Cloud Gateway Max. The two things you'll need are a little Ubiquiti ejection tool, this is the same one they use with their access points, and a T8 Torx driver. So start off by turning off your cloud key or removing the power from it. You're gonna take your ejection tool and just poke it here in the side, and the drive bay will slide right out. This unit came with a 512 gigabyte pre-installed drive because that's all that was available at launch but I would recommend buying it as a bare bones empty unit for $80 less and then purchasing your own drive because you can probably get a one terabyte or greater for that $80 that it cost me to get this on 12. So T8 Torx, take that out. There's a thermal pad on the back of it. Make sure not to lose that screw. And then there's another T T8 Torx inside that holds the drive in place. Slide this out and then the drive will slide back and you can lift it out. Uh, this pre-installed drive is a Kingston PCIe Gen 4 512 gigabyte drive. Uh, and I think you should be able to get a one terabyte one, like I said, for $80 or less if you wanna purchase this for 199 with no drive instead of 279 with the 512 gig. The sled will hold a 30, 42, 60, 80, or 110 millimeter NVMe drive, um, M.2 NVMe drive. The pre-installed one is an 80 millimeter core assembly. Just repeat that process in reverse. Take your M.2 drive, drop it in place, slide it down to the end. Take the larger of the two screws, this one with the round boss on it. Use that T8 Torx driver to install it in the position that corresponds with your length drive, in this case, an 80 millimeter. Take the cover, drop that in place. Take the other T8 Torx screw, drop that. Tighten that back down. And then lastly, take your Cloud Gateway Max, slide that in there. Press it in place, and we're done.